The layout that we have here is our diamond controls uh, laid out by our controls engineers that we have here in this office, Richard Cooley and uh, Shan Rudd. And what we really showcase is what you can do with our diamond controls, the different approach that uh, we take on controls to be able to show everything regarding the VRF as well as tying any third party uh, equipment that we might be able to do. This one specifically adds in the tenant apportionment or the energy apportionment package that we offer with our uh, diamond control package. Here's the dashboard. This is customizable to any front end that you want to see that the end user wants to see. And so you can put their project face there up on the front. It kind of gives you a quick idea of the outdoor weather. It gives you uh, the load that is currently being placed on the building for HVAC. And then you can see the trending of the temperatures across the different spaces. It gives you your cooling, your heating, and then your uh, average for each of those zones. And so as you kind of high level can see what your indoor con condition is, you can kind of see here the mag zone is the marketing uh, and the service here on the minimum temperature. Left hand side here, you can see all the different pull down menus on the tree that you can access. Uh, you got your global, your building global for each floor, your break room. As you drill in, you can see your conference room, the corridor, the service office and all the offices in the different spaces. Uh, you have the lost nays, which are our energy recovery ventilators. Those help uh, condition and ventilate the space. And so we have the outdoor units as well that you can drill down into and be able to see how those are performing and at what level they're, they're being uh, used. And so if I look at this uh, global overview, you can kind of see the total operation fan speed uh, that you can have access to. Um, I can look at the floor plan and it should give me an overall floor plan level of the different room and the different temperatures. It shows you a temperature gradient of what those temperatures are. This is the Dallas training room. Here you can see this large space at 69 degrees is our training room where they're currently conducting some training. We're currently here in uh, the hallway at 73 degrees, uh, closer to 74 as you move over to this area of the space. And so each of these zones is run by a particular set of indoor units that are tied together for that zone. This is our break room. These are our conference rooms here, our entry with all the different offices, each uh, zoned off on their own, which they're with the capability to be able to control and uh, adjust their temperature and fan speed as they wish. Temperatures across the board, pretty, pretty normal. You can go in and change this to the status. And so I can tell you, you know, all the units are on. So now I can globally see what each of those units either on, off or on standby. I can also go back in here and see what my unit mode is on. So most of these are in auto. Uh, you can see some of these are in auto cool mode. And these two are our IT rooms and those are in cool mode. And so you can easily change and globally be able to high level see what each of these spaces are at. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It shows you your humidity at each of those spaces. And so all of those are real time and you can adjust and calibrate the zone control as you need to see fit for uh, that space to maintain it. The LOSNE, which is our ventilation layer, you can kind of see which ones. We have four LOSNEs servicing. Two are servicing the training room. Uh, one is servicing this front area and another and a third is uh, servicing the, the office space. And so as you drill down into each of these zones. Uh, you can look at the break room, for instance. I can click on that and I can see the maintenance tool data. Uh, maintenance tool data is typically data that is only visible to uh, contractors and people working, servicing, or maintaining our equipment. But here you can easily uh, export that and make it visible via the advanced backnet capability of our diamond controls. You can easily see, you can record the data and be able to capture the data for the different temperatures. All this is relevant to a contractor that has gone through our training. They can easily be able to identify if there's any issues with the equipment by easily looking at the temperatures operating or the mode that it's in, the runtime, things like that, they, they can look at to diagnose whether there's an issue or potentially could be an issue with the system at some point. Uh, there's an advanced tab, so you can kind of high level see what uh, you're getting out of that space, which are the setback functions for when nobody's in the space, the unit will uh, set back to 
In this scenario, in heating mode, it goes back to uh, 65 degrees. In cooling mode, it goes back to 78 degrees. And so some, those are some of the cool functions that you can do with it uh, to high level, see what the system is doing and how it's performing. So some great data that you can get and share with your contractor or your main maintenance contractor to be able to uh, service and maintain this equipment. Uh, as we go into the LOSNE on the training center floor, uh, here are some of the graphics that you can see with this. You can see the LOSNE here, it's obviously on, so the exhaust and supply fans are turning, supplying and exhausting air into the space. I can expand the maintenance tool here for the outdoor unit. And then uh, the night mode, it's off, and then in measurement, and so how much power it's pulling uh, kilowatt hour wise, and the different pressures associated with uh, the equipment as we compete in projects that have controls, uh, we can leverage the system and be able to apply this in a more cost-effective way if VRF is a part of it because all the points are already being pulled through and we can just expose those to the front end if we need to.